Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries, April 6, 2022. The moon spends the day in your sector of joy and pleasure, and enjoying yourself is natural. You can also feel a compelling desire to improve your domestic life with the Sun and Jupiter heading into alignment. This transit brings fresh motivation to enhance your relationship with loved ones or upgrade your living conditions. It's a time for feeling proud of your most fundamental relationships, family, and home life. You're widening your comfort zone a little, ideally without going too far with unrealistic expectations. You're thinking about growth and expansion, and you might take some steps toward improving your life from the ground up. Whatever you're building, you're putting your heart and soul into it, maximizing its chances of success. Happiness or hopefulness is strong. You're feeling yourself. Put it this way, the moon governs your erotic eighth house of mergers, shared resources, and sexual chemistry, but it will be glimmering through hot-headed Gemini via your romantic fifth house of love, passion, pleasure, and self-expression. In addition to being in the spotlight without making the effort to do, so you're also prone to approaching love with confidence and enthusiasm. There's an air of unapologetic sass to you today, and it's causing a ruckus. This, of course, is all thanks to the moon's ruler, Mars, sitting together with Venus via your second house of self-worth, so go on with your bad self. It may feel like your work-life balance has never been easier with the sun in Pisces sextal's Uranus in Gemini today. The easygoing sextal can help you maneuver whatever is thrown your way both at home and at work throughout the day. Since Mercury conjunct Saturn in Aquarius, you may even find it relatively easy to remain level-headed when overcoming obstacles. Saturn encourages Mercury to remain disciplined while holding yourself to your work ethic. So, lean into your innovation to problem-solve while also using your communicative authority to delegate as needed. As they spend their last full day in your income sector, Venus and Mars are focused less on the money and more on giving you the confidence and the motivation to keep fighting for what you deserve. Pluto, the planet of change and revolution is staying on but after 14 years he is leaving next March, so will want to continue what the planets of money and passion have begun. Drag your friends along on an adventure. A night out in a new neighborhood will fit the bill if plane tickets would break the bank. Though you may sense the challenges more than the joys of life today, try to get through the rough road by sitting high in the saddle. Yes, only strength and determination will conquer doom and gloom. I would recommend making exercise a priority, but it's okay to go light. If there's something you can do that is more fun than your regular routine a game of tennis rather than your usual run it would be a good move. Try not to dwell too much on your emotions on this day. The power of this vibration is in good old-fashioned work. Throwing yourself into the chores that need your attention will not only do you a world of good by giving stress a place to go, you'll love the feeling of accomplishment at the end of the day. Anything that requires muscle, concentration, memorization, or organization will come readily and easily. Seize the opportunity to make some progress. While a friendly aspect between the Moon and Pluto is an annual event and this is not only creating some positive conditions on the income and job fronts but just as the dynamics are changing. As income matters become more stable and steady new developments on the job front are just days away, with a chance today to marry the two. In the meantime, there is a push underway to make the most of Venus last full day in your communication sector and the chance this brings to give your heart and your relationships a voice. This comes just as Mars' war on communication barriers ramps up. In a case of perfect timing, the Moon not only returns to your relationship sector during Venus, the planet of love's last full day in your relationship sector but as Mars and Saturn align here. The moon just happens to return with a chance to become more emotionally engaged during one of the most empowered days of the year on the communication front. Our eyes in the sky. Because moon is in Gemini, you can lead with your intellect rather than your emotions. Instead of leaning into what you feel, you can take thoughtful action toward building a new dream. However, this luminary occurs during Mercury retrograde, 
which means that our plans may take more time to come to fruition. The lesson here is to be patient and not focus on how long it takes for our dreams to become real. In addition, past drama and situations could resurface now. The skeletons in the closet may come back to shake us up one more time before they're put to rest. Dealing with past emotional upsets is key because the more we talk about things that are painful, the less of a hold they have on us. Letting others in can be easier than before, and it's essential to the healing process. Talk about your problems and listen to what your heart wants today. We are aligning with the north node of the moon's evolutionary impulse to assess data differently, to counteract outdated biases and beliefs with critical thinking, and to engage with the planet and its people through a more inclusive and curious lens. However, the ruler of this lunation, Mercury, is retrograde and in alignment with the moon, suggesting that first, we change our minds, then we change our realities. We may not feel the effects of this moon immediately, nor is it especially advisable to use this time for manifestation, because we are receiving cosmic downloads that may only be useful if we avoid rationalizing their significance, thus diminishing their importance via reductivism. This is a moment to stay present and open, to watch for synchronicities, and try to stave off anxiety. Solar moons often correlate with earthquakes, and we might feel agitated and distracted as gravitational forces work their magic upon our bodies in a similar fashion to their pull on the Earth. Be sure to drink plenty of water, breathe deep, and meditate if you find yourself feeling overwhelmed. In the late morning, the moon squares Neptune in Pisces while separating from its moon degree, leading to disillusionment. Eclipses give us much to process, and we might feel uneasy and unable to focus. Essentially, we have been through a sort of initiation, and because the moon-Neptune square stimulates our intuitive faculties, we might be picking up on feelings and sensations that are not our own, but those of our families or communities. If you question whether you are assessing a situation correctly or not, give it time. It will be better to wait for the energy of the day to settle down before making critical decisions based on incomplete information or vague hunches.